the buzz in Carver Hawkeye Arena in Iowa City. You look at Sanshiro Abe, the number two seed at 126 pounds, but the crowd went wild when the number one seed, Jeff McGinnis, the sophomore from Iowa, the 19-year-old who is 29 and 0 this year. He is on a roll, 2 and 0 against Abe this year. This is going to be a great bout, Dave. McGinnis is very tough, hard-nosed, but Abay can shoot. He moves very, very well, and he said he needs to finish. He can get in on McGinnis, but he has a lot of problems trying to finish the hold like there, but does a great job. Rubber arms out, gets the first takedown. Abay the early lead. He's 32-3. and three. Two of those losses, as we mentioned, came to McGinnis, and now it's 2-1. But uh, he beat McGinnis three times last year. So they know each other quite well. Abe the junior and McGinnis the sensational sophomore. Quite often when two wrestlers go at each other that many times in a one year period, they become more and more conservative simply because they know each other so well. But Abe really likes to mix it up and do a lot of things on his feet, particularly shoot. But Jeff McGinnis is quite capable of doing the same thing. And there you see it. Gets an underhook, gets in tight to a base body. No points yet. But he's in a position to score. And there he gets it. And he's got the lead, 3-1. A minute, 56 left to go, first period. And the fans love it here. And this is an electric place. When Iowa does well, you can't hear yourself. This is a crowd that appreciates wrestling, understands the sport of wrestling nurtures it here in their high school programs and obviously they've got the most dominant collegiate program in the last 15 years actually 20 years when uh, McGinnis gets on a roll he gets on a roll we mentioned 29 and 0 this year how about in high school he was a four-time state champion who never lost he was 172 and zip what a record absolutely outstanding and Dan Gable is able to recruit these kinds of athletes. He gets the best. Gable, the legendary coach of Iowa, who uh, you could say is the Babe Ruth of the game. You could also say he's the John Wooden or the Vince Lombardi. 13 national championships under his belt, now 14. Uh, just seeing that Iowa and Oklahoma always go at each other. John Smith won six straight gold medals in World and Olympic competition, more than Dan Gable ever won. However, Gable has transcended the sport. The way he won the Olympic championship, he went undefeated until his final match of his senior year at these NCAA championships. And of course, as a coach now, absolutely tremendous. Great for the sport, great for the state of Iowa. And McGinnis maintains the top position. He now has got riding time, minute three in building, and he leads three to two. All Abe needed was an escape to tie, and he could not do it in the whole minute 15 that he had. And Gable there yelling encouragement to McGinnis. See if Abe can capitalize here. He's got McGinnis's ankle up in the air. He can keep the weight back, maybe scoot off his hip and either escape or get a reversal point. That's a stalemate. Neither wrestler could improve. They'll start over again. It was a good opportunity for Abe, and he wasn't able to capitalize. 27 seconds left in the period. Penn State, very good program in the East, one of the dominant programs. Has done well at the NCAA championships, but hasn't won it, even though they've had some great teams. Time ticking down in the first period. Uh, Abe can scoot his hips out and away and try to turn into McGinnis there. He has a chance. McGinnis working a half Nelson. Great riding by Jeff McGinnis. And after the first period, McGinnis leads 3-2. The toss won by McGinnis, and he chose to go down. He's going to look to escape, pad that lead to 4-2, to two, and again take, take on Abe on his feet. I'm sure Centuro Abe will let him go, as he just did. 
So now Abe will need a takedown to tie, or McGinnis, if he does, will build up a nice lead. And in case you're wondering why he let him go, that's exactly why. He's very quick, very good at shooting in on the legs of his opponent, and he'd rather be on his feet. That's where he's most dominant and most comfortable. And he's got McGinnis close to his back. Oh, a beautiful job of countering by Jeff McGinnis. He neutralized Sanchiro Abe's shot beautifully. McGinnis was tested in the quarters. Bolton three zip was all. Hinson in the semis, the young man from Iowa State, it was only 3-2 and close the whole way. Abe cruised in the quarters 11-3, 9-3 in the semis, and now he's faced some tough stuff. Again, we mentioned that McGinnis and Abe have wrestled a couple of times. Here's McGinnis's thoughts on beating Abe. It was, it was a lot closer than the score seemed. I handled him the whole match. I see it's an on the other really close, hard fought match. I think I ended up winning like 5-1. I think it was 5-1. I almost had a take on high stand as well. It was a real close, hard fought match. Letting his action speak right now. 45 seconds left to go in the second period. Still 4-2. The number one seed over the number two seed. McGinnis in control. And really this match is really mirroring exactly what Jeff McGinnis said. Abe was in on him all the time. It was a lot closer than the score indicates. Abe's had his opportunities. And his very first shot he was able to finish. But since then, Jeff McGinnis has countered all of his great leg shots. Even when he got to the leg, he couldn't do anything with it. McGinnis is so strong. And I tend to believe that as the match wears on, the Iowa wrestlers are known. Gable really pushes them hard to be in great shape and continue attacking, even when fatigued. And I think Sanchiro Abe here is going to face not only McGinnis here, but 15,000 people in these last few minutes. And Dan Gable, too. If you'll get a look at him, he's into every movement that each of his wrestlers makes. Here's the start of the third period. And Abe chooses the up position. He didn't bother to try to go down and have McGinnis ride him at all. He wanted to start right on his feet and hopefully get a takedown here, get himself back into the match. Does that surprise you? He would have gotten a point and then a takedown no. gives you the win. His, his, big, uh, his big strength is on his feet. He needs to score a takedown here, gets the score to 4-4, four to four, and then he needs to let him go or try to ride him out in the race riding time, which is going to be very difficult to do. He needs a takedown here in the next 40 seconds to be able to accomplish that, and I'm sure that's on his mind. There is quite a bit of strategy involved when you include riding time in a wrestling match. Whatever happens for Abe the Jr., it's been a great ride. He was a walk-on when he got to Penn State in 1992. He came from Japan. His folks still live in Japan, in Tokyo. There's Abe in again. He's got the leg tight. He might get that takedown. There it is. Beautiful shot by Sanchiro Abe of Penn State. And we're all tied up in four all. He'll let him go right away. Here he goes. The winner of this takedown. Actually, uh, Sanchiro Abe needs a takedown just to tie it because McGinnis has that riding time. 51 seconds left in the period. It's 5-4 because McGinnis got the point on the escape. And as Jeff mentioned, the riding time, a minute 44 in favor of McGinnis, so it's technically 6-4. And Abe trying to come back, hits that high crotch, single with the head on the outside, and dumps McGinnis right to his backside, scoring the two points. Hawkeye crowd is cheering McGinnis on, really cheering, supporting him, but it's Abe right now who is carrying the attack. Thirty seconds. He can't erase the riding time. He needs this takedown just to score or to tie. McGinnis does a good job of tying him up. And that's all he wants to do is hang on, not let him move. He's been warned for stalling now for hanging on. Abe again trying to go under him. Abe needs the takedown to tie. Five seconds. That's all that remains. Oh, he almost got it. 
But that's going to be it. McGinnis will win. Gable loves it, and so does the crowd. What a year for Jeff McGinnis. Only 19 years old. He ends up 30 and 0 and a national champion at 126 pounds. And the match unfolded just like Sanchiro Abe and Jeff McGinnis said. McGinnis felt that Abe could get in on him, but he was able to counter those shots, get a couple of his own, and hang on to be able to pull out that 126 pound victory. We take a quick time out when we come back. You meet the sophomore from Iowa, undefeated national champion, Jeff McGinnis. Back to Carver Hawkeye Arena in Iowa City. Hey, our good friend Jeff Latnick standing by with the winner at 126. Here's Jeff McGinnis. Jeff, congratulations. Did the match go as you felt it would? I really gave up takedown rule. I didn't really want to give up. I, get, I wasn't really in it the whole match. I kind of let up a couple times, let him on my leg. Right at the end, I kind of lost a little bit of focus. Kind of looked at the clock a little bit. I thought it was going a little slow, but... National Championship team. Could it have gotten any better? Yeah, I could have pinned him. That's a very good attitude. We want to wish you the best of luck next year. Thank you.